Welcome to our first video on determinants and uh, in this video we are going to understand the following. What is a determinant? What is meant by the order of a determinant? How do you calculate the value of a determinant? And what are the elements of a determinant? Normally a determinant would look something like this. Okay, but let's say for example if I have to tell you how this is built we let we take two straight lines and then we write down the elements so what we have over here is a determinant with four element okay what do we mean by element element is nothing but the number of constituent or the number of variables which are here each one of them is known as an element of a determinant right now Coming back to what do we mean by order of a determinant? An order of a determinant, let's say for example if we say that the order of a determinant is 2, that means it has 2 which is this number square which is equal to 4. So a determinant of order 2 is something which has 4 elements in it okay and when we talk about these four elements these are organized into rows okay and lines and the way this works is that there are two rows and two lines right in this particular case if you see we have a1 and b1 so this is your row 1 this is row Two. this is line 1 and this is line 2 so effectively there are two rows and two lines in this particular determinant and the way you write it is let's say for example a1 b1 a2 b2 so this is a determinant of order 2 okay and if you have to calculate the value of this determinant how would you calculate it the value calculation is not a very complicated process so what you need to do is you need to do a cross multiplication okay and this I'm talking about the value of an order of a determinant 2 if the value is not 2 it is something more the calculation methodology may differ in case it is 2, the way you calculate it, you just do a cross multiplication. You multiply A1 times B2. And from whatever value you get, you subtract the second cross multiplication. A2 times B1. When you do this multiplication, what you get is the value of the determinant. Okay? And this expression this entire expression which we have written on the right hand side is known as the expansion of a determinant right now let me give you a practical example in terms of how do you calculate the value of a determinant of order 2 so let's say if I give you an example which is 3 4 minus 5 6 this is a determinant we write it under straight lines okay so basically the value will be calculated by multiplying 3 by 6 and minus 5 by 4 or in other words the value of the order 2 will be 3 times 6 minus 4 times minus 5 18 minus minus 20 or minus 38 now this was about the value of a determinant of order 2. What if the order of a determinant is equal to 1? So let's say I tell you to calculate the value of determinant A. In this case the value of the determinant will be A itself. Right? So if you have to calculate the value of let's say 7, this is going to be equal to 7. As against this, if you have to calculate the value of minus 5, this will be equal to 5. Now you must be wondering why is the determinant used at all? I mean why do we need this? What is the fun in doing this? A determinant is basically used to solve a pair of linear equations 
we all know what linear equations are quickly okay so let's say for example if you had two linear equation a1 x plus b1 y this is equal to 0 and you have a2 x plus b2 y is equal to 0 and I tell you to solve this right you might take a lot of time solving this but by using the determinant method this can be solved very quickly so if you solve these equations okay let's call this as equation 1 let's call this as equation 2 now a 1 x plus b 1 y is equal to 0 which means that a 1 x is equal to minus b 1 y right or in other words x upon y is equal to minus b 1 upon a 1 let's call this as equation 3 similarly if I solve this which is a 2 x plus b 2 y is equal to 0 I can get a 2 x is equal to minus b 2 y or x upon y is equal to minus b upon a b 2 a 2 right now in both these cases you have x upon y on left right so you can also write it as under x upon y is equal to what was the value minus b2 upon a2 minus b1 upon a1 minus b2 upon a2 minus b1 upon a1 so if i just ignore this for a moment what do i get i get minus b2 a1 is equal to minus b1 a2 or i can just write this as a1 b2 minus is plus a2 b1 is equal to 0 and if I just want to simplify this further I can write this as a1 b2 minus a2 b1 is equal to 0 because if I just move these to the right hand side this is what I get right so starting from these two equations where I have reached is that effectively okay I have resolved these two equation by applying this formula now this is nothing but something which I do for solving linear equation and this is what I told you is how you resolve a determinant if you go back the first one that I saw told you a1 b2 minus a2 b1 a1 b2 minus a2 b1 right so you can solve linear equations by using determinants our next video is going to be on how to solve a determinant of order 3